Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to take a little bit of a look at Eevee Heroes. You see, ladies and gentlemen, Eevee Heroes has just been officially revealed. It's just been officially revealed. It was actually revealed this past Friday, and to be blunt... It's already getting just a little bit silly. Now, initially, I saw this little picture being sent up by the lovely Primal Lugia. And you know by now we are big fans of Primal Lugia. And we've got Lottery Balls and an Eevee Heroes pack and an Eevee with fingers crossed. And what's going on? Well, it turns out Sataya, a Japanese shop, has basically gone and advertised an Eevee Heroes lottery. One box for one person by lottery present. So you follow this account, you retweet the tweet, and then you'll be entered into a lottery. And if you win, you'll get to go and buy yourself a box of the set. And I thought, oh, well, that's quite nice. That's kind of a nice way to do it. But actually, it gets a little bit worse. Because you see the lovely Brace Gaming, another lovely folk I have a lot of time and respect for in the Pokemon world has gone and retweeted from a, a large, well-known Japanese card shop, Big Magic, who are also doing a lottery for EV Heroes. Now, this is Google Translated, so bear with me. But basically, it says, starting today, we will start accepting lottery for EV Heroes Normal Edition from May the 1st to May the 21st. The reception will not be closed during the period. Please do not hurry and come to the store with plenty of time after taking measures against infection. So obviously with the whole damn panic thing still going on, they're trying to really make sure people don't rush over, so to speak. They're, they're giving you a lot of time. So why are they running these lotteries? And the answer is because Eevee Heroes is expected to be so popular because the hype is building so quickly that they're actually now doing a lottery, so actually just buy the set. Even the bigger card stores, the ones that generally wouldn't do lotteries, the ones that generally have enough stock, are doing lotteries to actually just buy the boxes in the first place. Now, these are not the special boxes with the Espeon VMAX alternate art. We'll get to that one in a moment these are just ordinary everyday run-of-the-mill ev heroes booster boxes and these are the ones that are proving impossible well not impossible but extremely difficult to get hold of these are the ones that are actually being put up in this lottery system it's getting a little bit silly and the thing is we are not there yet like this past Friday, we had the initial release of EV Heroes. And to be blunt, they didn't show a huge amount. What they showed from EV Heroes was essentially the EVVs. They showed a few other random little cards as well. But generally speaking, they showed the eight EVVs. Now, and again, one more quick reminder. Half of these will be in the set proper. The other half of them will be in those special V Max packs, which are going to be included in special sets. So it'll be like the old V Max box I've talked about a bunch, where you get eight packs of EV Heroes, and then you get yourself one V Max pack. And in that V Max pack will be one of four Evolution V Maxes. Yes, they will be exclusive to these boosters. That will be the only place you can pick them up. And you will also get yourself free hollow energies that max the relevant evolution. They're going to be very, very cool, but they're also going to be very, um, very difficult to get hold of. So the thing is, we've only been shown the Vs. We haven't been shown the V maxes, and we haven't been shown the special arts. Now, the one exception to that is the aforementioned S Beyond V Max, which has been shown on Amazon Japan, etc where you buy the special set that gets you two booster boxes, etc. And you also get yourself this SB on VMAX. Now, we're going to talk more about this next week, but this is already a card which is being absolutely redonkulously hyped because, firstly, the artwork is absolutely crazy, over-the-top phenomenal. And secondly, as it stands at the moment, the only way to get this special art EVV Max 
is going to be by buying this special set. But this is only actually going to be sold at the Pokemon Center online or in store. Now, there is an online lottery for this through the Pokemon Center, but there always is. These boxes are generally sold through the Pokemon Center online through a lottery system. So that isn't particularly newsworthy. That isn't particularly impressive. What is particularly impressive is the fact that Eevee Heroes regular booster boxes are already, as soon as it's revealed being sold by lottery by big stores that generally have enough stock it is worth pointing out the set is out on the 28th of may so between now and the 21st of may we'll be showing you on this channel all the cards that are revealed that's what we do expect the 21st of may to be when every card is fully revealed except the special arts there generally the couple days before and the thing is, as it stands at the moment, the cards look alright, but not stunning. Now, there are three EVVs I do really like. There is an Umbreon that for free energy does 80 damage, but 160 if Umbreon's got any damage on. But bearing in mind, Houndoom will accelerate single strike energy while putting damage on. And you're hitting weakness against Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. And with one Houndoom... And then one single strike energy, blah, blah, blah. You're doing enough to KO like a Crobat because single strike will do an extra 20 damage. So actually, yeah, this is looking like a really strong card. The Leafeon lets you attach a grass energy from your deck to any of your Pokemon as an ability. Though it does end your turn, you do need to bear that in mind. And then the Sylveon lets you search your deck for any item card, though again it does end your turn to do so. Those are the three that I think look like they've got a huge amount of potential. But those cards alone really, really do not strike me as reason for this to go a little bit nutty. It's just the fact that it's Eevees. Like I've said, half of the VMAXs are going to be in this set. And we can expect some special arts in here as well. And if we go back to the sets which have just released in Japan, Silver Lance and Jet Black Poltergeist, the money cards, so to speak, the really good highlight cards, weren't regular set cards. We're talking about the alternate art, the special art of Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max. And Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max looks like an amazing card, but this is also phenomenal artwork. And that is reason why it's gone kind of a little bit nutty. The Zera Aura special art is also amazing. But again, that is very, very much likely to be due to the artwork more than it is the playability. It's a fine card, but it's largely going to be that. And then the Caitlyn full art. Weirdly, the full arts are more popular than the Rainbow Rares when we come to supporters. We've talked about that before. And Caitlyn is a very popular card. And those are the, the three cards people most want from those sets. We're not going to see the special arts and all of that, mostly, until the 26th of May. A couple of them are likely to be shown off slightly earlier. But it's generally going to be two days before the release date. That is when the cards get sent to shops in Japan. And that is when shops start opening to sell singles, etc. And that's when the full arts and secret rares and all of that tend to be shown. That is when it is going to get proper silly. Because, I mean, look, I ran a poll on this channel a little while ago asking what people thought were the most popular evolutions. And it wasn't even close. Worth bearing in mind, I know I've only listed five of them there. You can only put five on the poll. I did a couple of semi-finals, so to speak, to decide who to put into the final poll. And you'll notice there that by far the most popular of the evolutions is Umbreon. So there is probably going to be an Umbreon special art, and it's probably going to be in the main set. Umbreon is generally a bit too popular, I think, to go and put into the... VMAX pack, I could be wrong, but that's my inkling. So that is going to make hype get even more silly. Like, if there is a special art Umbreon, which is even above the special art Espeon, and it legitimately could be, things could go and get even nuttier again. This is something we need to keep an eye out for, ladies and gentlemen. If it's already this hyped, this far out, when it's only just been released, 
It is only going to get more and more as we go. We do not see hype like this for regular sets. Sure, Shiny Star V was very, very hyped, but Shiny Star V was a high class set, an extra set, a special set, call it what you will, with all the shiny Pokemon. So that's very, very different. That puts it above and beyond a regular set. Eevee Heroes is, just at the end of the day, a regular set. Now, for anyone wondering what's going to happen over here, our next set is Chilling Rain. That is coming out in June. This will not be part of Chilling Rain. This will be part of our next set, which is going to be our August set. And we don't know very much about that at all. We do have a placeholder date that we've gotten from distributors of August the 27th. Because it's come from distributors, this is likely to be a very reliable date, though we cannot guarantee at this stage. But, yeah. Get ready for the August set, ladies and gentlemen. Because unless Pokemon switch things around, and they could, 25th anniversary and all that, this is going to be part of our August set. And things could get similarly crazy over here. But this was weird enough and nutty enough and unusual enough that I thought I needed to bring you all the news. Now I have, but bear in mind, this is probably only the beginning. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear from you guys. I want to know how hyped you are for EV Heroes. I want to know if you've been able to pre-order anywhere in Japan. I want to know your thoughts about the set. Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching... PTCG Radio.